I think what's most exciting about this expedition off the Carolinas is really, it's the culmination of all of the work that we have put in off the Atlantic coast of the United States and Atlantic Canada for seven years. We embarked on our first expeditions, not even knowing the Carolinas was in the picture. And we were fortunate enough to tag the great Mary Lee, you know, in the first year of our work. And she actually led us down to the Southeastern United States and the Northeast Florida region and uh, really kind of changed the relationship of everyone in this whole region with sharks. For years, we really avoided this region because the weather is so brutal in the winter. When you get just north of Charleston here and you're near the Outer Banks and the wind is coming there, the Gulf Stream is colliding with the beaches. It's just a super dynamic ocean. And what that means in the middle of the wintertime when the white sharks happen to be here is you're lucky if you can get out and work on the water for one in four days. It's a test we're gonna have to pass if she's gonna reveal her secrets and really reveal for the first time in history where a white shark population is mating. There was no data, there were no tracks, and now we have 83 sharks that have laid down tracks for years. And when you pull back and you just take out the mature animals that we know are old enough to mate, they're all leading us here. And they're all leading us here right now. You know, the ocean, she is not gonna give it up easily.